we are given that consumption equals 100 plus comma 7y. And then the statement is made, if this is the case, then savings equals minus 100 minus comma 7y. Now, we're going to, to address this question. We can divide... We're going to divide the consumption function into the autonomous part and the induced part. Let's deal with the induced part first. We know that an increase in income of one rand would lead to an increase of 70 cent in consumption. In other words, consumption increase with one rand, given the multiple propensity consume of comma seven, spending will increase by 70 cent. So if we spend 70 cent out of each additional rand, we're going to save, yes, we're going to save 30 cent. In other words, this 30 is the marginal propensity to save. So looking at the induced part of savings, then we can say if income increased by one rand, then savings will increase by 30 cents or comma three. And note, if there's an increase in income, savings also increase. So it's not negative. Savings doesn't decrease, but increase. Therefore, a positive sign here. This is the induced part of savings. Looking at the autonomous part, if we take out, because that is what autonomous mean, that part of consumption that's independent of income, where does this 100 rand come from? Well, for most of us, it would come out of savings funds. So if we withdraw from our savings 100 Rand, we spend it, it means that the balance on our savings account will reduce with 100. So it looks as though the autonomous part is, of savings is correct. If we spend 100, savings will decrease with 100. So we can conclude, if this is consumption, then savings equals minus 100 plus 0.3y, and this statement is incorrect.